be here with you today to talk all about mobile app promotion on Twitter. Um, some of you might be aware, maybe I'll move to this mic. It's easier. As some of you guys might be aware, we launched a new product suite last week uh, to effectively distribute your application across the Twitter ecosystem, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Some data points before uh, we move into the product itself. Uh, we have 255 million monthly active users globally. In the UK alone, we have 15 million monthly actives. Of course, 80% of that usage is mobile. We are a mobile-driven platform. Mobile is in our DNA. Uh, Twitter was always a mobile-driven product. It originally uh, started out as an SMS product and has, has evolved into the platform it has become today. We can see the ubiquity of that usage across every single access point for the consumer, where 50% of our users use Twitter during their commute, 25% while shopping, and of course 66% in front of the TV, given that second screen phenomenon where Twitter is very, very strong. What we're seeing more and more, and why we're all in this room today, is because app discoverability is a key challenge for every marketeer. It's a pain point in the industry. We see that our user behavior on the platform leverages that, where Twitter is an app discovery platform. 65% of our users alone have installed an app in the last month. And it's not across one single category. It's across every single category in the App Store, from mobile gaming, through to sports, through to entertainment. Twitter is by far and away a space where these users live and breathe. They come to Twitter to learn about new apps, to share new applications, and to, and to, and to build that buzz on the platform as well. Uh, as you guys are well aware, there's two million apps in both the EOS and Play Stores, respectively. Uh, the challenge is how can you break through that noise? How can you break through that clutter that exists in the marketplace today? And in that context, that's the challenge that we were presented with as a business. The challenge to build a more robust and comprehensive mobile app solution for developers and marketeers, an end-to-end -end fully baked solution to distribute your application on Twitter, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, two themes in the industry, obviously outright user acquisition, but secondly, how can you re-engage consumers? Because consumers, users, are downloading your application, there's no guarantee that those users are going to be highly engaged users. Re-engagement is a theme for us. It's something that we are focusing extensively. Uh, you see recent acquisitions like Tap Commerce that we've made, which will become clearer as our product matures. Uh, as it stands now, there's a very, very effective way to re-engage consumers on the platform, cross-promote those users, reactivate those dormant users that many of your applications may have. And what makes Twitter so special is that across every single category, there's all of these predictable moments of intent predictable moments of intent to drive app discovery on Twitter across all of those app store categories that we discussed. Gaming, sports, finance, music. There's a clear space in the platform for every single business. It's not just one app store category where we are strong. Here's a really good illustration of that, and apologies for the cheesy video. Uh, this is a piece of content that my American colleagues made. So this is Chloe. Chloe's at a concert. She's having a really good time. She's with all of her friends. Friend of the disco ball, and they're, what, what kind of concert do you think this could be? You know, maybe it could be Pharrell, might be Rihanna, Beyonce maybe. But as it turns out, Chloe's a big Tom Jones fan. And she's tweeted out, this Tom Jones fan in London is rocking right now. Really, really excited about it. And if you're a savvy marketeer, and you're listening, and you know how the Twitter platform works, around those predictable moments of intent, what's the opportunity? The opportunity is to reach Chloe based on the subject matter and content of her tweets and narrow the funnel to reach high value users, users that would have good lifetime value. In this example, Spotify could be targeting Chloe as a Samsung S5 user who's on a Wi-Fi connection, who's interested in music, who's tweeting about Tom Jones, who follows Tom Jones, um, along with multiple other contextual and real-time signals. Chloe clicks through, installs the application, but we, as a business, we're aware of a second pain point in the industry, and that's that users are downloading applications, but some of those users do not open the app at that point in time or at any point in time. This is a product feature that's completely unique to Twitter. It's called iOS install notifications. So at the highest moment of intent, when Toei Chloe is downloading that application, her highest moment of intent, she's just downloaded, we will surface a reminder to Chloe inside the application that will deep link her into the app that she's just installed when she goes back into Twitter in order to close that gap between 
users who are downloading, but users who are not opening. And obviously, conversion attribution only takes place when the user opens the application post-install. So let's deep dive a little bit more into the products. What is mobile app promotion? Mobile app promotion is now this robust and comprehensive suite that enables developers and marketeers to drive installs through Twitter. It has extended far beyond a single app card that some of the folks in this room may have used previously and has four core pillars. The first is targeting, the second is creative, the third is measurement, and the fourth is campaign management. And all of those in combination form the foundation of what is a very, very compelling and viable product. I want to give you a quick product overview of the user flow that you've just seen in the Chloe example. Uh, so initially, the user is exposed to their promoted tweet, uh, visually engaging creative, compelling message, ensuring that relevancy exists between the user cohorts that you're targeting and the creative itself. Look, Chloe clicks through to the App Store in one click, and that conversion is immediately registered in ads.twitter.com through partnerships with mobile measurement partners that I'll talk about in a moment. So with targeting, first of all, it starts with targeting. Everything starts with targeting. But to fully understand the value of how to reach users on Twitter, we first need to understand what the user behavior is on our platform. So Twitter is that live medium. Everything happens in real time on the platform. It's why topics trend on Twitter. Um, Twitter is a space where users are coming to learn about new things, what's trending in their world. On the platform, on a single, every single two days, there's a billion tweets sent and delivered on Twitter. But I don't want you to think of them as tweets because they're not tweets. They're not tweets alone, they're opportunities. They're opportunities for every marketeer, every developer to drive an install on the platform every two days. One billion opportunities. And when we look at those predictable moments of intent that I discussed to drive app discovery on the platform, it's across every single category. Here's an example in sports, 13.5 million sports-related mentions in a single week on Twitter. Likewise with retail, if you're an e-commerce application, a mobile commerce application, there's all of these opportunities to leverage the recency and intent exhibited by our users on our platform. And finally with gaming. 9.3 mobile gaming mentions delivered on the platform on a daily basis. And with all of that in mind, that user behavior, uh, Twitter excels at two things, and that's uncovering recency, uncovering intent, being able to find and leverage those users who are most relevant to your application. And you're able to target users on the platform through what they're interested in, who they follow, what they're tweeting about, the actual keywords, what they're searching for, what TV shows they're interested in to, through TV conversation targeting, giving that trend we're seeing with a lot of mobile gaming, mobile advertisers currently, and overlaying all of that with location-based targeting, gender-based targeting, device, OS, and Wi-Fi targeting. And moving closer to your user is incredibly important. Uh, narrowing the funnel. We have the ability, you as a marketeer, have the ability to target up to 72 explicit different devices, focusing on those handsets that offer your application best monetization already and ensuring that you're replicating that on Twitter. So for example, if you're an e-commerce app, you want to reach premium users with disposable income, why not target Samsung S5 users? Why not target uh, iOS, EOS users with the, with the latest handset? Uh, if you're a gaming application, Wi-Fi targeting is also very important. And that capability now exists on the platform. Driving efficacy with your CPI is something that we wanted to focus on with this product release. We wanted to ensure that every impression, every click, every install was as ROI positive as it possibly could be. Uh, and to do that, we've introduced tailored audiences that enables you to focus on outright user acquisition through loading, uploading device IDs uh, to ads.twitter.com, or on the inverse, focusing on those users who have best behaviors for your application and ensuring that they continue to have good lifetime value and that they will remain loyal consumers. Here's a good illustration of that. Uh, you will be able to identify your total universe in the platform. In this example, it's gaming. And uploading device IDs, finding that cross-section and ensuring you can omit those users to drive better efficacy with your cost per click and drive better efficacy with the subsequent cost per install. Creative is the second pillar. And with creative, we wanted to afford marketeers more controls, more freedom to showcase content-rich applications, showcase the content that sits inside your app in a very, very compelling way. And what you'll see here is two examples of creatives that we've released as part of this product suite. 
Um, on your left hand side is the, the basic app card and on the right hand side is the large image app card. Large image app card is fully expanded in the user's timeline. You'll see large and prominent call to action, install, social actions are less prominent but social actions are incredibly important and we'll speak about that in a moment for virality and for K factor for your application. Uh, here's an example from mobile gaming developer Lotum in Germany, also for Pix, one word is one of their titles and Lovu in uh, Germany also. The iOS install notifications um, is a product feature that's specific to EOS right now, uh, but something that we have seen to tr drive down your cost per install and ensure that conversions are registering uh, more quickly than they would uh, previously. Sorry, charging model is a, is a key piece as well. It's the first time that we as a business have moved towards an objective-based charging model. Previously, market tiers incurred costs on a cost per engagement basis. Uh, brands love engagement, Performer, per performance market tiers less so. And now you will only incur a cost for any user action that results in a click to the app store. So any other actions like retweets, favorites, replies, uh, no marketeer will incur any costs. No business will incur any costs. However, those actions are still incredibly important. And if any of those actions occur, um, it's all earned media. It's all free media. It's virality for your application. Measurement is the third pillar. And through very, very strong partnerships with third-party tracking providers, we're able to provide you with real-time conversion data for your teams and for marketing teams to optimize all of that performance in real time. This launch would not have been made possible uh, without these guys, so I want to give them a quick shout out. Adjust, Mobile App Tracking, Coachava, uh, Adex, Fixu, Grab Analytics, and Apps Flyer. Conversion tracking, we wanted to make this as seamless as possible for every marketeer in this room. Uh, and in the space of two minutes, you can, get it, you can get it set up, establish a secure link between your tracking dashboard and your Twitter ads account. In the self-serve flow, identify those conversion events which are most important to you. Um, if you want to measure CPI, which is crucial, you'll be able to measure that and have it on full display in your dashboard. If you want to set up custom events, more sophisticated metrics like day one retention rates, any kind of quantitative or qualitative custom events, you can set those up and have them fully visible inside the ads UI. So what can you track? Uh, you're able to track performance at every stage throughout the funnel, from clicks to installs through to downstream actions and deeper funnel events, uh, custom events for export via CSV uh, inside ads.twitter.com and also this will be fully visible in your ads dashboard. Being able to map all of that data back to user cohorts, for example, I as a marketeer may have a campaign live that's targeting females interested in fashion located in London, iOS, between the hours of nine and six. I'll then be able to map all of that data back to device IDs, uh, pull it into my own business intelligence system, presenting subsequent opportunities for reactivation uh, in Twitter and remarketing in Twitter, ensuring that you can focus on those users with customized messaging. The fourth pillar is campaign management. And in line with the objective-based charging model that we've introduced, we want to, to, in, uh, to introduce an objective-based, self-intuitive uh, campaign flow, which is what you see here. So dependent upon your objective, if, if it's app installs or re-engagement, we'll pop you into a stream. Prompts to build out campaigns, programmatic type campaign, campaign building facilities inside the, inside the ads UI, being able to build multiple creatives, hundreds of creatives across both of those ad units that we discussed for A-B testing to understand true performance of your mobile ad spend and focus on what's working. And of course, conversions data is crucial to all of this. And campaign data will be visible across every single campaign from what your CPC is to what your cost per install is to what your lifetime value is across all of those users do. I want to show two case studies to prove that this actually does work. So what you'll see here is an example from Get Taxi, uh, a business uh, in, in the UK, uh, in the US, Russia, uh, Israel as well, an international business. And they as a challenge, they as their business challenge, were presented with an opportunity to unlock the value of Twitter from a, from a performance perspective. And looking at the key metrics, what they found is that not only can they unlock the value of Twitter as a CPI channel, as a hard stop CPI channel, achieving 30% lower cost per install. They also found that those users have transactive behaviors inside the application, where as compared to any other channel GetTaxi we're using, 
twice the number of bookings came from Twitter users as compared to any other channel, illustrating the quality of Twitter users and that those transactive behaviors do exist. Similarly with Lovu, a social discovery application, uh, over 12 million users, their challenge was to, similar, uh, to focus on Twitter from a performance perspective. And looking at their key success metrics, from a CPI perspective, their CPI was 50% lower than any other channel uh, that they were focusing on. Again, illustrating the value of Twitter, and this goes hand in hand with scaling. CPIs are one thing, but if you're not able to scale your performance and drive thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of installs on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, um, the value is not there. And we have seen all of our partners throughout beta and when, well, since we've launched publicly to achieve both CPI and scaling. A lot of content there, folks. So I want to uh, summarize the most salient points of our discussion today for you guys to take away. The first is that mobile app promotion on Twitter is now a holistic solution, a fully baked end-to-end -end solution with four pillars. We've evolved significantly beyond the text-driven platform that Twitter was. It's now a visually engaging medium. Second takeaway is to focus on that and leverage the visually engaging medium. Our users demand and expect that from marketeers on the platform. They want visually engaging content that's relevant to them. The third is to test, iterate, and optimize. Ensuring that you can optimize for performance in real time is crucial. Um, and we've seen some advertisers scale from day one. We've seen some advertisers take up to 10 days, but the opportunity is there. And finally, uh, scale that performance. Once you're able to achieve a CPI and protect your bottom line through measuring the lifetime value of those users, scale that performance for your business. Um, thanks so much, folks, and I hope that was really helpful. I'll be around to chat to any, uh, anybody who wants to speak um, at the networking sessions. Thanks.